Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Jamo here, bringing you the next episode of my FIFA 14 player career mode. The last game of the season is this one at home to Crawley in the league. I have been picked for it, so I'll let you run through it and I'll speak to you after. Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of League One. It's the MK Dons against Crawley Town. So without further ado, we take you to Milton Keynes. Your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Well, this is a game from the League One. I'm Martin Tyler and Alan Smith is with me. Pleasure to be here, Martin. Can't wait. So what do you make of today's matchup, Alan? Well, they are two evenly matched teams, no doubt about it. Um, and so often in these circumstances, it's which player on which side can produce a little bit of magic, create that chance. Checking back on the last five league games, it's a, a good barometer really for current form. Nine points for the visiting team. Yeah, I don't think uh, that is uh, some opportunity here. In with a chance. Corner now. Here's the header. Oh, and a goal into the bottom corner. They have scored a really good goal. Well, he's thanking the corner kick taker because it was a, a spot on delivery. Well, that's the first goal of the game. It's 1 0. Promising build up until that challenge brilliant opening could it be with this goal advantage they've now got a corner <laughs> this is the chance oh well, that sipped on past the keeper, but just past the post. Now Powell. Potter. And that's half-time. Signaled by the referee. 1-0 the half-time score. Easy on the eye this first half with two teams trying to go about it the right way and certainly in terms of efforts at goal they are very very close aren't they yeah no shortage of action in the penalty areas but uh, which set of strikers I wonder can be that little bit more clinical to to get the decisive strikes they're holding their lead and the fans are doing their best to encourage them they are but I think they're a bit nervous because they've sat off a bit inviting pressure well here comes a substitution for the away team More. And now can he score? And here's the shot. Goal news from Bristol City. It's a goal for Carlisle United. Five minutes remain. 3 1. Cheers, Alan. More. He's in at goal. Could it be? <laughs> well, at this stage. Alan, how significant is that going to be? It's a bad miss. It is a bad miss, and uh, he's tucked away. Harder chance than that in his career, so he'll be kicking himself. Managers in both the dugouts want to make a change. You'll see the new players getting ready. Powell. Good control here. Quite congested. And he's blown his whistle for the last time. Well, it's a way to end the season. I enjoyed working with you, Alan. Yeah, it's been another really enjoyable season. And you know what? I can't wait for the next now. Nil, Peterborough well, United. Well, guys, a fantastic two. way to Family end Rovers the season. One. Yes, another Rotherham game. United, two. Um,
Wolverhampton Wanderers 4, Lake Norian 1. So what do those results mean for the league table? At the top of the table remain Coventry City with 96 points. In second, Wolverhampton Wanderers with 94 points. In third, Bristol City with 94 points, but only behind on goal difference. In fourth, Milton Keynes Downs with 90 points. In fifth, Sheffield United with 80 points. In sixth, Preston North End with 78 points. In seventh, Peterborough. Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the playoffs. It's Sheffield United against Milton Keynes Dons. Of course, the lights are beaming down this evening. Let's head straight for Sheffield. Here's your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Well, here we are at the semi-final stage. Great anticipation, Alan, before the first leg of this. The teams have done really well to get here, but one has to go out, and one will be playing in the final itself. Yeah, I mean, there's a real buzz inside this stadium. You're aware of that as soon as you come up, but uh, as always, it's which side can settle the better. There's an awful lot of football to be played. Baldic. Not easy to get the ball like this in midfield. You need a player with a bright mind, and he's done that, this player. Comes in strongly. More. So that is the half-time whistle. We're still very early in this semi-final to be played over a second leg as well as the second half of this first leg. And neither team really revealing their hand fully at this stage. No, they've not. They've uh, played a little bit cautious, not committed too many men forward either side. And uh, I wonder if that will change now in the second half. The two teams here have got a lot of potential to play better than this. Still waiting for the first goal. The goalkeeper is responsible for that. Well, they've gone and got it now, and maybe an opportunity. Now Williams. That's it. Level pegging between the two teams, and it's finished. All square. Well, guys, um, nil nil. Um, there were aspects where we played well and there were aspects where we didn't play well, but we do have the second leg, um, which will be played in the next episode. So I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode soon. See you later.